Yeah, g'day, welcome along. Uh, eve of a fishing trip, been downstairs, got everything all ready to go. Been a good boy, done all the, all the, all the stuff that you, you gotta do. Well, I didn't see it before, but it was, you know, there were things here, and they're not there anymore, as you can see, look, yeah, nothing there. It's all goodness, I think, places like this. Yeah, so I've done all that sort of stuff. Um, gonna hit the, hit the hay, all of that, pretty dark things that rise up. And um, get a few uh, sleeps. They're forecasting westerlies, um, south westers. Um, so, uh, yeah, east coast economy is looking pretty flash. We're looking like it might be the spot to go. Um, but we'll play by you till we get it. All right. Tomorrow. This guy in the bin already, and I haven't. Uh... There's a nice little start to the day. Had a couple of uh, smaller ones just before this, so yeah, it's looking like it might be a promising day. Anyway, catch up a little bit. So we're just starting off with our soft bait. Um, I really am literally 100 meters from shore, if that. Uh, got one good fish in the bin already, as I've shown you already. And um, just throwing out my next one, next uh, cast that is. Oh, there's a bite. It's a bit of a um, grand fish on. Nice, another nice healing fish. Pretty shallow here. Oh, oh no, we're in nine meters of water now. Where are you, mate? Coming around the other side, are we? No, bring him out here. There's a smaller fish. This is a uh, bit of action. He's probably just a smidgen under legal. Thanks, buddy. Have a good day. I mentioned in the earlier the forecast was it's um at this stage it's pretty well bang on. So I've probably got a window of maybe three hours till about lunchtime before it decides that it's um oh it's going to start picking up the west westerly stuff i'm keen to try today on here i've actually tried it before but i um didn't really have much of a day that day so i'm going to fish um i'm going to start off with probably my just my go-to thing i'm going to go with silver 35 grams in the old micro jig from Ganjig, the Zest Ganjig. This guy here, it is battle tested this one. I don't know if you can see that. But it's um it's had a it's had a bit of a beating. I've got this new little rig set up over here with a I think they call it a line grommet. And I I really it's really good. Um, you don't get the real tight um, the real tight loops on, you know, on your, when you're tying your knots, you get a nice, a nice um, 
decent sized circle for it, if that makes any sense at all. Maybe not. But we'll, we'll get this guy open hopefully. And we'll throw him in there. So that's it there. It's, it's just, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that. It's just this little guy here. And it's, yes, it's another connection that you're going to have to worry about perhaps. But it's, um, it's pretty convenient for being able to change lures over. There's a bit of stuff in the water, but there's not a lot of bitey stuff going on on my line just yet. Oh. But, there we go. Only little. I caught a uh, a little bl little cod before. Oh look, there's another one of these guys. You catch some cool different species out here. Look at that thing. Pretty fish, eh? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's all, all better. Beautiful little fish. There you go. species here we were. couple didn't move far got maybe a couple of hundred meters slightly bigger about the same size getting close to getting, oh, sorry hurt Got a bit more weight to him. Feels like a bit more weight to him. Wee under the arm, under the wing. 
How would you like to have her go back to the water? Tell your aunties and uncles and whoever else is down there. That it's not so bad up here. The guy's a nice guy. Trying to get my finger there. Yeah. He's not, uh, nothing to write home about. Beautiful looking fish, aren't they? Stunning. There you go, buddy. Right, we will plant another one down there. So that's kind of all I do there. I don't know whether you can see that. I'm just stopping the light and look at that right there. That works. Just a little pause in the mid water, or if the line starts to go out a little bit faster, and then you can just touch just enough to set the hooks. So this, this I think is case in point for me how good these ganjigs are. I've just been fishing over the top of this, there's a school of fish down here, and I've been fishing a different lure, dropping it right into it, and um, I, couldn't, I couldn't get anything out of it. I dropped this down first drop, and bang, straight away, absolutely straight away. Um, nice fish too. Nice fish. Yeah, mate. Yeah, I just, uh, the, the, I don't know how you, I don't know what they've got that makes them work. Um, better than the other thing out the back that I've got going down. Um, but my jingos, they, uh, they just produce, which is, at the end of the day, pretty much what we're after, isn't it? Doesn't matter how we do it. I might put you in the, I might put you back actually. He's a nice fish, another nice, sort of getting up around pretty close to 40. Oops, and he's uh, pretty much gone. So this guy here, this is the other one I've got out. And it's in the... I mean, this it's just chock-a-block with fish down here at the moment. And... I 
drop it out the other side so you can. So it's a bigger lure, for sure, this one. Oh no, there's so many fish down here at the moment. I'm just going to buff this one back over. Love how these things work. Right. Might have missed that. Oh, it turns out no. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. Jigs. Get into them. Go and buy yourself a couple. And this is a 35 grammer. The 28s work beautifully. The 60s. I haven't managed to get the 80 out yet. Um, but man, they just. Stuff's just working. This is a nice size. And the nice one, very similar to that last one. Still didn't get to the bottom. I was just trying not to run the line over too much. That's an okay fish this one, eh? else to say about them. I've, I've tried a lot of other stuff and for me these guys <coughs> are pretty impossible to beat. You know? Yeah, here's another nice beautiful fish. There you go buddy. That, that was just, it was just on the, on the drop again. <laughs>
GoPro, so we haven't gone. Gone a little bit. Again, got myself another nice patch of sight on the sounder. And this one looks like it might be some pulling some good string. It was. Yeah, so um just got back in, had a really cool day actually, really really cool day. This is um, what it's like out here now. It's not bad, there's definitely the westerly is coming through and out a little bit further it's, it's quite a strong westerly, just here it's not too bad. Uh, it's a great little spot, beautiful spot, tons of fish and all, all pretty good condition to be fair. Um, didn't really care, I caught a couple of different species but uh, I was after a couple of gurnard or a uh, gurnard or any kind of gurnard but didn't uh, didn't get them so maybe it's a little bit early for over here for them um, there's a few boats out not very many but beautiful day on the water again and that's kind of you know all we can ask for if we get a little bit extra that's a bonus eh